The executive secretary of the National Sugar Development Council, Mr. Adili Jizak, says Nigeria is on track in achieving its mandate of sugar sufficiency. Mr. Zak made this assertion at the visit to Boa headquarters in Lagos, where he commends the private sector players in the achievement of the sugar national sugar master plan. Blessed Omonose reports. In order to limit sugar importation into the country and facilitate local production, the Nigerian Sugar Master Plan was approved by the federal government in 2012. This development has led to the private sector players' involvement in the backward integration program through the establishment of sugar refineries in the country. To assess the progress of the backward integration policy and the council's effort in achieving sugar sufficiency by 2022, the Executive Secretary of the National Sugar Development Council, Mr. Adedeji Zak, who paid a visit to one of an indigenous manufacturers of sugar in the country, commended the role of stakeholders in the fulfillment of the first phase of the Sugar Master Plan. We have a master plan that we have 10 years. Now, half of that 10 years has gone now. And then we put that one in putting refinery in place. I'm now saying going forward, what we need to do now is that we need to go back to the farm and go and grow cane, which is real backward integration program that we are talking about. The NSDC boss further said it is imperative to shift focus from sugar refining to planting of sugar canes to put an end to importation of raw materials, grow the forest market, as well as other social economic challenges facing the country. We have the refinery working now. The same method we use in putting all refinery that we have working up, let's transfer that to the feed now and go and make it work in planting the cane that we will use for our backward integration because it is from it that we can get 110,000 employment, which is according to the promise of this current uh, government. Not only that, that will reduce the level of insecurity that we have and we save us tons of forex that we use in importing raw sugar today. For this indigenous player, the proposed forex restriction by the Central Bank of Nigeria on sugar and wheat will boost domestic production of sugar and make the country achieve its vision of sugar sufficiency. Boa is investing heavily in the BIP program. In fact, it's the fastest BIP site at the moment. And uh, the factory, uh, as we have mentioned, will be ready by first quarter of 2022. And also, the, the plantation development is going alongside with the factory because that is a standard all over the world. As you are developing your factory, you are growing your cane. And that's what we are doing because we are very much interested in making sure that Nigeria is self-sufficient in sugar production locally. With this move made by the management of the National Sugar Development Council, Nigeria is no doubt on the path to achieving its sugar sufficiency mandate. Blessed. Omonose. TVC News. Lagos.